Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. We're up in the UP searching for smallmouth bass with our good friend, Maddie B. Hey, 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 John Gillespie! This is a big, beautiful fish. Oh, is that awesome. Holy crazy! Oh, oh, oh my God. It's a huge fish! It's a huge fish! This is amazing. How do you go? Oh awesome. my gosh. Yes, folks, up in the UP, but we're just north of the Wisconsin border in Iron County, Michigan. And I'll tell you what, you look around this time of year, middle of October, the trees are gorgeous. Mm -hmm. What a great spot, huh? Yeah, and it's smallmouth bass fishing time. Well, that's what we're Hopefully. gonna do today. We got our resident bass expert, <laughs> Dr. Bass himself, <laughs> Maddie Bachanich. And Maddie, this time of the year, it's interesting because smallmouth fishing, they can be deep and they can be shallow, right? Yeah, I mean, October, John, it's in lakes turnover. These, these big, deep, clear lakes all over the state, they turn over and you're gonna catch them shallow to deep, but a lot of times you catch them shallow right before the turnover, and then after turnover, I look for that deep rock. You're gonna catch a smallmouth? I hope so. All right, hey folks, we'll show what we're using and how we're using it, all of that coming up right after this. Big news, introducing Jiffy's new E6 Lightning with clean power. Easy starting with a squeeze of the throttle. Powered by a six amp hour lithium battery, along with a high torque motor that delivers superior drilling performance. Reverse drilling makes skimming holes a thing of the past. Jiffy's river blade has longer life. Night lights offer safe drilling even in the dark. The new Jiffy E6 Lightning has everything covered. Introducing the Rise Float Suit with Motion Float Technology. Breathable, waterproof, secure, and all the features that make the difference. Waterproof cell phone pocket, rapid drain system, and maximum flexibility. Fish with security in the Rise Float Suit from Ice Armor by Clam. Rise above. Clam Outdoors. Pursue the ice. Hey, welcome back, folks. As I mentioned at the top of the program, we're hunting smallmouth bass, and we're on the Wisconsin-Michigan border. We're actually in the UP today. Now, bait selection this time of the year, you want to move a little bit slower than the summer, and, I, and a cast master can be really good ripping a cast master, right? Yeah, that 3 8 to half ounce based on when it's a quick snap of the wrist yeah. and let it flutter imitates a bait fish, what they're doing right now in eating. And this is a new bait you got that has legs on it, but uh, appendages. That, the, and appendages and a little paddle tail, and you reel that real slow? Paddle tail swim baits are awesome in the fall time when they get on bait. And of course the grub, which is one of the, the, the Kalen's grub, one of the old kick butt standbys, hey, right? Fall time and springtime, it's an awesome cold water bait. Oh, what oh, oh that looks it might be a walleye. It is a smallmouth Ooh, bass. Nice Look at the size that of that bass. flake. That is a beauty right there. What did, what Here, did let I me just say? You, well, you, did, you said you were going to catch it's a, a five-pound five bass. That was wow. cool. <laughs> and, I know, nicely done. And that was on that cast master, yep, right? Yeah, I was just rip drinking it off the bottom. Okay, let's get a look at that. You know, Ooh, that is only, that... What, what do you think that is, Matt? About 18, 19 inches? 18, but just a look softball at the tummy stomach. On the, that. the build on that. That's, that's what happened. Here, let me get that hook out of there for you. But that's what happens in the fall, Blake. Is, I was just going to ask, yeah, how is it on the these, fall? These bass are eating like crazy. Yeah. Because largemouth or smallmouth aren't that active in the winter. So and what depth were we on in that? That was in 14, 14. feet. Of water, oh. yeah. That's a beauty. Nicely done. Woohoo! That is a beautiful bass. Hey, look at that! that. that, 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 that release yours in a second. Maybe All we right, can I hold these up together. Yeah. 
Okay, that's amazing, folks. That was literally two seconds later. What? Ooh, look at that, nice. Matty B. Come on up here with Blake. On the weenie? Yeah. But that's what we talked about at the top of the program. Nice. Oh, that's beautiful. When you get warm, you know, fall, mid-October days like this, Matt, and you got wind blowing into rocks, mm -hmm. that's what you like to look for? Yeah, John, we started off on some really deep rock, 20 to 30 feet. Mark, some fish couldn't get a bite. Came to a big rock point with the wind just cranking out. It started off and then moved back in, and that's the thing is, Start out deep and work your way in shallow where we hit the sweet spot and two quick, two quick big smallies. Way to go, guys. Woo! Those are beautiful. Oh, Nicely yeah. done. Matty B, your it. turn now, buddy. That's that cool. Was awesome. Why? What, what did it hit? Well, I just changed up. I figured they got to be eating minnows right now in late fall. This is a big fish, I think. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. Switch up to the new Kalen's Tickle Oh, tail. Matt, you're going to have to come back here. Yep, let me get Come back on here. back here. Back come back on back here. here. This is a nice fish. Blake, grab that net. This is a real big bass. Grab that net. <laughs> yeah, that is cool. That is that. a beauty, There's Matt. There's a tank. There you go, buddy. <laughs> and you know, that's something that, you know, you and I have been working on for a long time and yes. in testing is these tickle, what are they called? Yeah, so for tw spring of 2020, which is gonna be like January, February of next year, John, we have a brand new series of kale and soft plastics that we've been working on for a year and a half. And these, these are gonna be dynamite for walleyes too. Yeah. But the undulation, these little, these little spikes that you have here, folks, the way they undulate in the water is just incredible. Yeah. And so you, how do you fish that? You rip it too? Yeah, you can you can fish this bait two different ways. On a straight retrieve like I was doing. So match it up with the with the new series of swim bait Google Eyes. This has an oversized hook that matches up with this new tickle tail swim bait. 3.8 inch, straight retrieve, really slow along the bottom. It's it rocks side to side. That's what makes this combination. And you got and you got the noise too. You got the noise and the and the kicking exactly or rip jigging it. Nicely done. Oh, let's get another one. Oh, oh back in the boat. Oh, there we go. Finally, yeah. man. Wait, that yeah, is cool. One. Can you dip and that one, Blake? That one hit. Yeah, grab that net, Blake. That one hit Matt two or three times before awesome? he finally committed. Okay, Blakey, there we go. Oh, there's another one following him. Another one following him. We are on a serious school of smallmouth bass. Yes, that was. And this is a gorgeous fish. And you know, Matt explained it before, folks, how important it is when you feel that tick, tick, tick like that and he doesn't commit to keep yeah. reeling real slow. Maybe lift up your rod tip a little bit to entice him, but they will come back. They clearly follow it in. So. Can you believe the that average size? Chunk. I mean, no. it is unbelievable. And to see another one coming in like that? We're spoiled. I know, but you know what ha what that is? And, and a guy explained that, that to me uh, on uh, Chukwamagon Bay, it was Josh, as a matter of fact. Yeah. When the bass are coming in, they're waiting for them to regurgitate. Okay. Because they're feeding real heavy, mm -hmm. and when they regurgitate, what they've eaten, the bass behind them. Oh, takes it. Oh, that, oh, oh this is a big one. That is a this giant. Is a big one. Look at the size oh. of that bass. Oh, oh. Ooh, that's a uh, tickle me Elmo bait. <laughs> I love this. that. that uh, that's cool. Look at that fish. That wow, is a that pig. Is oh. Nicely done. So you're just Munching reeling it. real slow? Real slow. Quarter ounce Google swim bait with the tickle tail swim bait. I need to change and to that. And that's the color right there that when we when we designed it, I said that's the best perch imitator there is. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, I lost mine. You got one on there? Oh, oh I do. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I just lost mine. But he's regurgitating. His buddy's not there with him to eat it, but he just spit up a crawdad. It looks like. So that is a true thing, then, man. Huh? Uh, absolutely. Grab that net. We can't have him bending These over like ones. that, picking up four pound These fish. These are big ones. Can you get him, Matt? Yep, I got him. Yeah. Sweet, that... wet doesn't matter. Yeah. But, nice. uh, no, have you heard that thing about the regurgitation deal? Yeah, John, 100%. I mean, I literally just watched this fish spit a crawdad up coming back, and uh, he didn't have a buddy following him that time, but when they're feeding, and that old feed bag's on, it's and, game on. And that bait's got a little paddle tail on the back, oh, too, Oh, yeah, huh? yeah. See it? It's got a little paddle tail. Yeah. And uh, little appendages, and what makes those appendages so unique, there's not a bait out there like it. The water flows down the side, creating a really unique vibration, and the bait quivers side to side. Take your time, take Woo! your time, take your I time. Got a baby jump. I know, it's a nice fish. Oh, yeah, big. And this is a good fish. Take your time, Blake, take I your time. Nice and easy. Suck that up like a slinky. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Ooh, that is a beauty. Look at it. Oh, look one. at that fish. Wow. <laughs> Blake, Man, 
that, that, that's pushing five oh, or yeah. four and a half. Oh, yeah. Oh. Look at that bait gone. Oh, Bonzo. the mouths of these. Are Look at that oh, fish. That. that fish is pushing five. That is gorgeous, Blake. Wow, Blake. that is a beauty. And we were talking about today how, what would we do without spot lock? Oh, the spot lock, I'll tell you what, folks, when you, we don't no. even carry anchors in the yeah. boat anymore. And the most important thing when you're fishing spot lock, Matt, is to put it down into the wind. But it is such an valuable tool, like Blake says. Could you do this type of fishing without the Minn Kota spot lock? Maybe, oh, wow. Buddy. Okay, I buddy. All right, buddy. With you. Blake's going to bring the net up so we can hold these two up together. Matt just got, got that hit right after Blake. <laughs> All right, come on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come this is unreal. That unreal. is another hogosaurus. Look too. at these fish. Look at these fish. How big is that one, oh. Matt? Four. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice. That was immediately after mine. Look at this. And these oh, have more spots. Oh, these must be in the rocks. And a half. Look at these fish. Now that's Matt's got the smallest one of the day yeah. there. Yeah, I mean us Gillespie's kind of get the bigger ones. No, but Matt, what I was <laughs> talking about. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. What I was talking about that spot lock, how important that is. Oh, John, I mean it's a sustained 25 mile an hour wind right now, and I went up on top and we're casting down wind. If I had to stay on a trolling motor without spot lock, it'd be impossible for me to fish. And I would be literally on the trolling motor and you guys would be fishing out of the back. So it's a must. <laughs> Really? Back to back, Johnny. Back Boy, are to you back. hot, buddy? You That's are these hot. Donkeys. These are averaging four, four and a half. I mean, that Folks, is I mean, amazing. These are and you know, we oh, talked yeah. about Tip that. that one, Blake. Yeah, Netter Blake. We talked about that at the top of the program, folks. Look at these. Bitch. Deep rocks in October <laughs> is going to be the key to success. Oh. And that's another beauty, Look Matt. That, that was literally the next oh, cast. Yeah. And Look you're going that. real slow, huh? It's super slow, ticking the rocks. That fish came out of the exact spot as the last one. Both sitting in 23, bombing up on this little rock point, and just catching footballs right now. Wow. Tickle tail swim bait. The tickle tail is the Putting one. Putting in work. We were fishing Iron County in the UP, a four and a half hour drive from Milwaukee, five and a half hours from Chicago, and seven and a half hours from Minneapolis. The Kalen's Google Eye swim bait features a built in glass rattle in the head that puts off awesome vibration and noise. Also features a wire keeper that locks on your favorite soft plastic paddle tail. The Kalen's Google Eye swim bait, available in four sizes and four colors. At Jiffy, we pride ourselves at being number one in developing the best propane drills on the ice. Patented proven performance is Jiffy's vision for the future. And from where we stand, the future looks pretty darn sweet. Jiffy, we put the world on ice. The Lure Lock Tackle Box system is the best way to keep your baits in great shape. You know, this system is really awesome, Blake. You never want dull hooks on your crankbaits when you're fishing. With the TackleLogic technology, your baits stay in shape and your hooks stay really sharp so you won't miss that big one on your next fishing trip. Get locked down with the Lure Lock Tackle Box. For more information, go to LureLock.com. I switched to the Evinrude E-Tech G2 three years ago, and I'll tell you what, the raw power in this engine just blows me away. The whole shot, even with a 21-foot fiberglass boat, gets me up on plane just like a jet engine. And even with all that torque and power, I get the best gas mileage in the industry. And listen to this, there's no oil changes, and the E-Tech G2 winterizes itself with the push of a button. There's no scheduled maintenance for the first five years, and Evinrude has the best customer coverage package available. The E-Tech G2 is built right here in Wisconsin. For a dealer near you, go to Evinrude.com. <laughs> oh, he came back and oh, get it. Oh, that is another big fish. Oh, Look at that. Tank. Okay, tank. can you grab him, Matt? <laughs> oh, that is Grabbing fun, five buddy. Pounders, John? Is that a five? Oh, yeah, it's a five. Oh, is wow. it really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Come here, come here. Get him, get him, get him. Too bad I don't have an. Oh. No, we both had oh. casts out there. Sorry, Four but that is a probably. beauty, Matt. Look at and fish. you know that's a lesson right there that you should talk about. <laughs> that fish hit more than once, huh? Oh, John, it hit about halfway coming back. I'm ticking the rocks. As soon as I hit a rock, speed it up. I felt the thump. 
Don't reel it back in and get discouraged. I've seen a lot of people do that. Keep the steady retrieve, and then what I did is I sped it up really quick, one quick turn at the reel, slowed it down, sped it up, slowed it down, and the fish came back and munched it. Oh, Matt. Johnny. <laughs> You're so right about how much fun this is when they hit. That was another one of those that hit two or three times and then came back and really smoked it. Ooh, look at that rod, Blake, can man. you dip them? Oh, look at this one, yeah. Matty B. Look Woo! at that fish. Now, now this that... is a major league smallmouth bass. How long wow. did he stay down? Yeah, he did not want to come up. That, that is yeah. a gorgeous fish. Oh, that, that wow. I think we're getting to the biggest one of the day right there. Wow. I don't know. That they're is all gorgeous. Beauty. Yeah, they are. And they're... <laughs> See, how long has it been? But, uh, we've well, been uh, since we got on the fish, yeah. I would say an hour and a half. Yeah, and we've caught so Boy, many. Boy, look at that. I'm breathing heavy. That well, thing is so big. <laughs> that is but a again, you know, the, I think the point to that paddle tail yeah. on that bait, what's that called again, Matt? It's the tickler. And the, the tickler. Tickle tail. Yeah, the tickle tail. Kalen's tickle tail. And it has these appendages, and they love that. It, Matt was saying that it looks kind of like a perch. Well, yeah, that's, it does resemble a perch, but look at that bass. That is a jumboitis right there. It's Lavasaurus. You bet. Oh, no, I'm getting hot in the back of the boat that's there, Matty. And I'll, I'll tell you one trick, folks, was slowing that down. Like Matt showed the retrieve before, I was going too fast, Matt. And that's the key is to keep that near the bottom. Ooh. Oh, look at this Richard, jumbo. I just can't even. Look at that, folks. Wow. I mean, this is some of the best smallmouth bass fishing I've ever had. And, you know, of course, I love Chequamegon Bay. I love Door County. But you get on to some of these lakes up here in Vilas County like this. Wow. I mean, that is amazing. And I really believe, Blake, that the best fishing for the bigger fish of each species mm -hmm. is like October and November, you know? Yeah, and it's our birthday month, so it must be a great month. Yeah, but I think, you know, that <laughs> yeah, these fish that congregate together in feeding areas, yeah. and uh, Matt found the perfect spot. We're sitting in 22 feet of water, according to the hummingbird. And but this we're, wind is our, in our favor. Right. right, and we're casting into about eight feet of water with big yeah. boulders. Yeah, wow. Nice, huh? Nice job, Dad. I'm finding Bill Blackford's sauce. Me too. Me too. Cousin Henry is cooking them right outside on the grill. Hey, I'm making some Johnsonville original breakfast sausage patties. They're made with only 100% real premium pork, and they're easy to cook on the griddle. All I do is put them on on low to medium heat until they're golden brown. And the cousins love them. Mmm, mm. these are the best. I agree. Mmm. Mm. Oh, Grandpa gets these. No. original breakfast sausage patties. Find them at your local retailer today. The neat thing about using these swim type baits, folks, is you, you, you really don't have to be an expert. And Matt, maybe you can show the folks at home how you retrieve these, okay? Yeah, John, so right now with the water in the 50s, I'm just swimming it real slow along the bottom, ticking the rocks. When I feel the rocks, I speed it up just a little bit like this, and I just want to keep it steady. You fish an eighth or a quarter ounce weight with the swim bait based on the depth that you're fishing and how the wind's blowing. The wind's really cranking right now, so we, everyone's throwing a quarter ounce. If it was, wind was not blowing really heavy, I'd switch to an eighth ounce and just creep it real slow, speed it up a little bit once in a while, slow it down, and just tick those rocks, and they will come and just suck it up. <laughs> what do we do next cast oh, again? What's uh, going oh, on? I don't know, but this, <laughs> this one hit right underneath the boat. Oh, really? Okay. Here he is, here he is. Wow. Oh my, look at that. <laughs> in the net ski. In the net ski. That was sitting in 22 feet of water. Some of these fish are sitting in 8 feet of water. That's, That's you know. Wearing them out. Uh, look at that. I mean, come on. I mean, look at and uh they're eating it, man. Wow. No, that one was kind of bad. I you know, I kind of varied the retrieve a little bit there. Kind of a pull up, let it go back down to the bottom, pull up and let it go back down to the bottom, you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. And nice you know, fish. don't be afraid to vary your retrieve with these, right? I mean, the way you showed is the correct way, but you can vary it. Absolutely. Straight retrieve, John, or I like to I, rip jig it. Give fish? it a pop. Fish, it, fish, it a fish. Black, <laughs> hooked up. I cast it right where you did. I don't blame you. <laughs> oh, man. This oh. fish does not get old. No. That
that, I, how can it? I mean, this I is <laughs> fabulous. This is tremendous. Okay, yeah. you're going to have to come over here on this side. Can you no, I'll, of course, I'll net it no, for you, Blake. Nice. There we wow. go. And there we go. Here you wow. go. Boy, these are just jagundos, it's man. Like one after another, <laughs> after another. And like, I just, you know, you look at it, you're like, oh, just another big one. <laughs> well, go grab your bass well, there and show the people. We're, we're there you go. You can sneak through there. But we're going to go back to talking to Matt about the, the changing the retriever on a little bit. And that's just, I mean, come on, you know? Yeah, exactly. Look at that. It's the tickler. That thing does work, doesn't it? I think it's just the real what slow undulation. Again? Tickle tail by Caleb. Tickle tail. Yeah. Folks, these are some unbelievable deals you just got to check out. Right now, Recon has five pro staff boats for sale. The Recon is the best haul I've ever run. Here's the skinny. Very low hours, lifetime boat warranty, transferable engine warranty. The Recons also come with multiple helix locators, a 15 horsepower Evinrude kicker, a 12 foot talon, and a Minn Kota Altera with iPilot Link. These recons are priced well below retail, and again, they're just lightly used. Financing and monthly payments are available. This is a great opportunity to get in the boat of your dreams and get $250 worth of recon gear with your purchase. Go to reconboats.com. Hey, Blake, we're heading out on Green Bay tomorrow, and the weatherman said it's supposed to be really, really rough. Just to be safe, I want to put in a higher capacity Johnson bilge pump. Dad, you don't need all those tools to change a Johnson bilge pump. All you need is a higher capacity Johnson cartridge motor. It's that simple. Hey, Blake, that is really cool. I guess I won't need these. Johnson cartridge bilge pumps, the highest capacity, the easiest to maintain, and the easiest to install. Johnson Pump, our choice for safety and reliability. Let us make this absolutely clear. The days of wasted casts and missed opportunities are over. New Mega Imaging takes fishing into the megahertz range for the first time. Because higher frequency sonar means higher frequency of this. Without a doubt, it's the most detailed picture of the world below ever. And it's only from Humminbird. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie B, I'll tell you what, I don't know if I've had this much fun in a long time. I love musky fishing in the fall, but when you're catching fish this size, buddy, it is amazing. Ooh, here he comes. Oh, look at that one, Blake. Whoa, nicely done there, Blake Aru. Matt, now, I'm going to tell you I'm doing something different that I was doing before with that bait. And uh, I've caught a couple of fish on th on this type of retreat retrie that I'm going to tell you about. And boy, look at that. That is a chunk. Uh, I mean, you know, really. And one tip, Blake, yeah. when people hold smallmouth bass, okay. different than largemouth, okay? You okay. want to always support their tummy like that. Yeah. If you hold them by just their mouth, yeah, you can sense. actually break their jaw. Yeah, that and, makes sense. And so you want to always support a smallmouth bass. Tummy. Yeah, like that. <laughs> Now time to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2019 Fishing Contest. This week's first winner is Bill Hagee of Merrill. He caught this 11-inch bluegill on the Spirit River on a night crawler. Ryan Floor of Greenfield boated this 40-inch salmon on Lake Michigan on a flasher fly. Tom Camp of Fox Lake caught this 50-inch muskie on Green Bay on a rapella. David Sadowski of Milwaukee boated this 22-inch bass in Waukesha County on a wacko worm. And this week's kids winners are Kaylee Witt of Menominee Falls caught this 35-inch laker on Lake Michigan on a spinning globe. And Easton Gruber of Mosinee caught this 30-inch walleye on Green Bay on a rip and wrap. I go to Fleet Farm every week to find the hot new deals. Check out what I found this week. Save 40% on the Tink's Doe and Rut Fogger on sale for $7.79. And save $100 on the Edge Hunting Blind on sale for $4.99.99. Oh. <laughs> Did you hear me before that? Yeah. Oh, 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 o
Oh, oh, oh yeah, you want me to get grab that net there, Blake? You got to tell right. the folks what well, happened yeah, on that so fish. That was interesting. I cast it out, and halfway through, I felt a little nibble. Okay, here he is. I'll I get felt him. a lot different than a rock. Okay, there and you then go. I kept slowly retrieving that tickle, and it eventually came right back. And obviously not as big as the other ones, but this is still it's still a beautiful fish. But that's the thing today, folks, is these fish will yeah. come, Matt, and you've seen it several times today, and we've talked about it. It's an awesome bite, how they just it, it nibble. Just nibble. Slowly retrieve. Come back, come back, fishy, fishy, Fucked and then up, bam. Oh, Maddie's oh, got, got one, got too. One. Son of a what? Hey, uh, now that, that was fun. How many times did he bite? One, two, three, fourth time. Got to put the screws to him. Oh, that's cool. Oh, look at this fish. <laughs> Dip them, Blackie. Dip them. In <laughs> hey, Matty B, that is a fish. gorgeous bass. But I want to tell the folks at home that we have filmed this entire show in about four hours, right? Yes, that was just phenomenal. I mean, it just doesn't get any better than that. You know, but that's going back to the original premise that you and I have talked about for years, that these fish school up in the fall big time. Absolutely. I mean, there's no doubt. There's obviously, we've seen a ton of crayfish get spit up today. There's obviously minnows getting pushed up with that big, big wind blow today, 25 to 30, and slow swim baits along the bottom. Breaking news from Fleet Farm saves $60 on this FX12 10 megapixel trail camera with a stainless steel tumbler, just $59.99. Oh, Pete, I'm getting too old for this. So, John, you haven't heard of Brian's Custom Steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms, and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's custom steps, call 920-315-0333. It's the Truckload Savings Event at Fleet Farm. This Friday through Sunday, we're passing huge savings on to you on things like black oil sunflower seed, 50 pounds, $14.99. Sitgo Super Guard Conventional or Synthetic Blend Motor Oil, 5 quarts, $11.99. Whole cashews or deluxe mixed nuts, 1 pound, $5.99. And a weathertight storage trunk, $16.99. But hurry, you only have three days to get these deals. Fleet Farm, built for real life. Hey, Maddie B. Thank, thank, thank you. Thanks, Maddie thanks, B. Matt. We had a great time. <laughs> hey, wasn't that a great day of smallmouth fishing? Honestly, probably one of the top bass fishing trips I've ever experienced in my I, life. I will second that. And folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know we're going to fish yet. We'll find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie. And I'm Blake Gillespie. Hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Hey, hey. Hey, John Gillespie, this is me, and everything tells you, ding, 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 ding. Hey, 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 John Gillespie!